Valen, yeah, why do you think, like, you know, uh, the everyday woman is like, let me go get this BBL? Um, convenient. I think that, you know, because mm. this is from personal experience, just going to the gym and trying to get, you know, in shape and trying to do it healthy, it's definitely a longer process as opposed to just paying someone and they're just doing a nip and a tuck. Although the dangers of that is just, it's just, it's crazy. But I think a lot of women just do it because it's just, it's a quick fix. And I think a lot of women don't really consider, you know, all that comes with it. Like you say, you've seen so many women, you know, pet die from it. And you just see so many people getting sick and mm. illnesses happening from it. But I think it's just convenient for a lot of, a lot of people. They rather just go lay on someone's table as opposed to going to Planet Fitness. I love Planet Fitness. Um, so, I'll be there too. Yeah, uh, you know, so it's just, um, yeah, I think it's just for convenient purposes. Now, what about, now what I'm scared about is when I see these two for one specials and how people are traveling out of the country to get the surgery. So it's like, okay, it's cheaper for me to get this BBL done in, you know, Dominican Republic versus me just finding a doctor here, like, in the United States that I can, you know, go back to. Cause even like, you know what's become popular too? These veneers, like getting your teeth done. And people are traveling outside, like to Columbia and things like that to get their teeth done. But what I found out from one of my clients who's a dentist, she's like, if something goes wrong with your teeth, no one here is gonna fix it. You gonna have to fly back to Columbia to get it fixed. And then the recovery process, like you gonna fly on a plane, after just having this major surgery done like right. so what are y'all views on that so i have a cousin who works as an air attendant for spirit airlines and that's one of the things that he tells us all the time the wheelchairs are lined up at the airport in atlanta to get these ladies wow. off of these the planes coming from columbia and the other places that they fly to get these surgeries um, mm. I have nothing against plastic surgery in moderation, um, mm -hmm. but I, I think the over-exaggerated bodies are just ridiculous. Um, I cannot see how some of these physicians even consciously do that to some of these people, um, because like, where, where do you draw the line where it becomes absolutely ridiculous? And for health reasons too, you know, you can go down to a place like Dominican Republic and get uh, a tummy tuck and liposuction weeks af after having bariatric surgery. And I think there was a lady mm. that died recently from doing exactly that. She should have waited at least a year between surgeries. She only waited a few weeks and she died. Mm, and it's wow. like, for what? For vanity. If it wasn't a and you have, and there, necessary surgery, then why, why risk your life? And there's also like, when you go out of the country, there's language barriers. There's like, you don't know what right. anybody could be saying about what's happening. Um, if, if that's not your, your first language, right? Even if translating, it, it could be exactly. really loose translation. And they could be like, oh, we don't, we don't have this, but we're going to do this so anyway. And you don't know what they're talking about <laughs> during your conversation. Exactly. Your surgery table. It's crazy. And you're so and then, far you know, away from your family. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yep. No, 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 please yeah, go ahead. Just, talk to them. Yes. You're just so far away from like, you know, from your family. Of course, you can have someone come down with you to kind of help you and support you, you know. But I mean, I would just be so afraid to be so far away from so, you know, from my family because anything could happen. And I know you mentioned like you couldn't believe how doctors could do it. I can definitely believe it because all they're looking at is the money. They don't, you know, that's all they, they, they're looking at. It's just, you know, okay, well, this is just, you know, more money so i'm just going to keep keep doing it um but i guess i get i got confused because i know at some point people were going to miami like people would always talk mm -hmm. about going to miami to get it fixed and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. it was this big rush of the, the deep people going to dr so i don't know what what's the difference i don't know if it's just less expensive in the dr or what i feel like well i feel like definitely i've heard that it's um i have one client she got um i call it she had a mommy makeover and so she had everything, a 360 lipo, she had BBL, she had breast lift and implant. Um, she did get hers done here, but she was in a group chat, or not a group chat, but they have, you know, community groups on Facebook. 
of people who just, mm -hmm. you know, get surgeries done. And one lady who was in there, she went to Dominican Republic because it was cheaper, but she ended up passing away because of um, the after the aftercare part. So she had some complications that she couldn't address because she was outside the country and there wasn't an immediate, you know, way to, to take care of it. So she passed away. And um, but people are taking that chance because it's cheaper. I think Miami was like, a, I think it maybe was a specific doctor maybe that was doing these um, surgeries, Dr. Miami that everybody talks about. And Dr. Miami, Miami. You know, that was doing yes. these surgeries. Yeah. yeah. And yes. I think that's why there was like an influx of that. I'm not sure if it was cheap. Miami is expensive in general. So I couldn't imagine being, you know, <laughs> you know, less expensive than like Dominican Republic or even like Colombia. But I'm just like, it's not, it's not, you don't want to discount when it comes to things like that. Like, no. You, you want to make no. sure you do your research and you find the right doctor. And it also concerns me when you see on Instagram, the doctors are in, like, have IG and they're doing reels. Why are you on the, on the surgery table? <laughs> have y'all seen those? No. Yes, very unprofessional. I'm like, they're doing but reels you know, with, with, the bot, with the person like insert like in the middle of surgery they're doing a reel like they're doing a reel and maybe they might have just got finished you know doing whatever but they're doing a reel of them performing surgery on the person oh, so wow. i mean i get social media i get you know applying it to your to your you know everyday life and to your career but that one it was a little bit like sir i need you to pay attention and yeah. i don't know <laughs> and then they have those surgeries where you can actually get abs did y'all see those Yes. It's so called I like a sculpting or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like it's, it's a bit so much. much. It's like it's, you we it's nobody wants to go to the gym. It is. <laughs> it is. Well no, I will say this. As far as a mommy makeover, I didn't even mm -hmm. consider getting one until I had my second child. My kids are seven my oldest and my current child is seventeen years apart. So when I had my first daughter, mm -hmm. my early 20s, my body snapped back, like, immediately. Mm -hmm. I was in my mm -hmm. regular jeans, like, 30 days after I had her. Um, then I had my second child at 39, and that snapback did not happen at all. It's like mm -hmm. my midsection. Um, come to mm -hmm. find out, I have diatasis recti, which is when your uh, abdominal muscles spread. Um, mm -hmm. And normally you go to physical therapy and um, if it's not too severe, the physical therapy will pull back your muscles. Well, in my case, it didn't happen. Six months of physical mm -hmm. therapy, my stomach, you know, the muscles are still spread, still in a lot of pain, a lot of back pain. Um, mm -hmm. But now I'm carrying a third child, which I will deliver at 41. And I am congratulations. I know. Thank you. Okay. I know <laughs> that I'm going to be in trouble with this one. Um, because I didn't do the tummy tuck right away, which is what they recommend to fix it. Um, mm -hmm. I now have a hernia. So I have to have a tummy tuck mm -hmm. after I have this baby. They've already mm -hmm. told me I don't have a choice. They have to fix a hernia. They have to fix my muscles back or it's going to get worse. Um, but up until I had this child, I would have never thought about plastic surgery to fix anything. 22 mm -hmm. years in the army. I'm accustomed to working out. Um, I had back surgery and that still didn't stop me from trying to get back up and work out. Um, but whoa, this second child took me out. I'm like, no, I have to get this done. But I'm going to make sure I do my research and, you know, not overdo it. I will make them snatch mm -hmm. my waist, but <laughs> I'm not Listen, if you ain't there, please go ahead and do it. Snatch me up. <laughs> my, because my right. Mind, right? <laughs> so, but sometimes, and I realize this too, and my mom, talking about my mom my mom had a mommy makeover like maybe 30 years later <laughs> she was like she to have me a little situation oh yeah my mom is fly she just she couldn't she couldn't sit down so she had a little mommy makeover <laughs> and i know i know there's some things that maybe the gym won't be able to fix because of loose because if you had um if your skin stretched so much either from losing weight you know gaining weight losing weight really fast or even having children you know, you're gonna have that loose skin and there's only so much that doing a whole bunch of abs and losing weight can, can do, right? So right. there are mm -hmm. people do who that would be like, that would be, I mean, it's cosmetic, but it's still something that we can't necessarily fix in the gym. It's like, we're gonna have to get that tummy tuck, gonna have to get, 
you know, get rid of that excess skin. And that's, like you said, in moderation, I, it's, it's beneficial, right? And I think there's less risk associated with it when it's in moderation. Um, when you're doing all this at one time, like, I can't even imagine just that to, to save a dollar, to save mm-hmm, a dollar yeah. is just like, okay, is it, is it really, is it worth it then? Yeah. So that's, that's the part. I'm just like you said, I'm not against plastic surgery because mm-hmm. yeah. I have definitely been looking into Botox just, just to get information. Just to see but that's not even does. plastic surgery. Well, see, that's like, I would think that's like, plastic surgery you know but girl you go in one two considered. three you out the same day <laughs> right. what about the lips don't put like too much. The lips? <laughs> okay <laughs> oh i thought about that too i thought about that too the little the little lubriderm or something to inject to make your lips look yeah. a little fuller because i got cool. i got a little i got a little baby lips so i'll be wanting I, when my <laughs> clients got her lips done and I was like, girl, it looks so good. And she was like, yeah, you know, you just, you have to go to the right doctor. Now, this is the thing too, mm-hmm. even with Botox and those things, like there are a lot of spas that do it, but mm-hmm. I would more so go to like a dermatologist, like yeah. an actual like mm-hmm. doctor to, okay. to administer it because then they, they'll give you the, most of them I think will be honest with you. Like you don't need you know, three, four injections over here, like, you know, do it in moderation mm-hmm. versus somebody at, mm-hmm. you know, who is not a doctor would be more inclined to give you more or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. But I guess that is the beginning, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they say that's where it starts. It's addictive. I don't know. These smart lines might be going the next time we talk, y'all, because yeah. I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> like right up in here. Get these lips a look full. Yeah. Just, well, let know. me just let me just say this to y'all. You guys, these ladies are beautiful. I'm looking at the screen. I'm just like, I can't see nothing. Y'all look absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Now, again, I thought about it myself. There's no shame in it. Like, you know, I had a client do do some forehead stuff and I, it looks so natural. She just looked brighter and awake, more awake. But mm-hmm. then you have the people who are injecting and doing too much and you can actually, like, you can really tell. Mm-hmm. I mean, an example, I mean, if we look at um, some of the celebrities, like, we're looking at Lil' Kim, like, Lil' Kim might have took it a little too far. <laughs> oh, I mean, my like, love, a completely I love different her. person. I know, I am a Lil' Kim fan, but she... This is to me is extreme. Um, she was beautiful like before. She didn't know when to stop. She was that. gorgeous she was so before. Pretty. Before and now, wow. it, everything just seems so exaggerated, almost like a cartoon character in a sense. Yeah. Um, and and yeah. My, is this started, real? Like, I couldn't understand. Right. If that was real? Was was that real? It no. is. It's real. That that was. I saw some real footage, and it was real. And it's just like. It's like, you know what I think what happens? I think sometimes you try to, maybe there was something that was a little too much or not enough. And so you try to fix it. And every time you try to fix it, it's like you add more stuff. And then it just results in this fake, this fakeness. Everybody has the same face. Once they do too much, it's like everybody Mm -hmm. has that same kind of pulled, high cheekbone type look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and. It's just, I mean, to look at, and we look at um, a lot of people, which unfortunately I hate, I hate how that works out. Like look, they look at Kim Kardashian and they say she's like the oh, hourglass gosh. figure that people want. And it was like, no, she actually took that from a black woman. <laughs> like, I was like, no, black woman. Exactly. Like that. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. She's trying exactly. to look like, like a black woman. Listen, but and it's now just like, no, see her say, lately, she looks like a white woman because she lost a lot of weight. Her and Chloe don't look she, the same. 